This year, a countrywide conversation has taken place all over the place about how women are treated in the workforce. And now new concerns arising in a place that, well, relies on women to keep it going. The CEO of the Miss America organization, Sam Haskell, is under fire for shocking internal emails that he sent where he demeans women's appearances, intelligence, and criticizes their personal lives. Just take a look at what Mr. Haskell and a friend of his emailed back and forth to one another. I actually can't repeat it, so you're just going to have to read the words because, well, he's using the C word. You know what that is. Uh, pretty bad stuff. Uh, and this is actually the, apparently the writer of this show that used that word. And, while well, Sam Haskell went along with it and just kind of laughed it off. Uh, people are pretty upset. So upset that Dick Clark Productions, which was the production company and had a couple of board seats on the Miss America board, has cut ties with the organization since this story broke, though there are reports that uh, they've known about the email for months. Uh, this story, you know, <laughs> it hits a little close to home for me. I, I read it last night and felt horrible, it felt so sad for all these women. I, I was crowned Miss New Hampshire in 1993. And uh, there's, there's the video. <laughs> Pageants like Miss America, I'll tell you, they come with a lot of positives, and there are a lot of good things about them, and they work for some people and are, are great opportunities for them. But it is not okay for anyone to talk about women like these people were talking about them. I mean, the, the very women that they're supposed to be supporting. Former Miss America board member Regina Hopper she summed this up pretty perfectly. There's a quote from her in this article on the Huffington Post, and she says, these young women put their heart and soul into being the best they can be, that the CEO of this organization would agree that that word, and you know what word I'm talking about, is the perfect characterization of Miss America's, and then laugh, it's heartbreaking. Regina Hopper is right. It is heartbreaking. Joining me right now to discuss... All of this, conservative political commentator Gina Loudon. Gina, you know, I, look, the Miss America pageant isn't for everyone. Um, you know, people have asked me, would you let one of your daughters do it? And I say, no, I, I don't want them to do that. I, you know, ho hopefully they have different kinds of opportunities. But you know what? If they wanted to, so be it. Because if that's what excites someone, and they enjoy, then they should have that opportunity. So let's get that out of the way, because a lot of people are saying, well, you know, this is just something that should go away. It's a relic. It's all of the past. There are still a lot of young women all over this country that enjoy competing in the system, and it's very helpful to a lot of them. However... That's right. When executives in the organization are exchanging emails back and forth about the women and referring to them in ways that we saw, what does that tell you? And... and, and what is what is the point that we have reached in a culture right now where I, I'm so happy that this is being exposed, but how does it change? That's a great question, Trish. And, uh, you know, I'm so glad that you are personally addressing this because I think you have such authority on this as someone who has actually competed in the system. And, I, and like you, I do believe that these platforms give young women, my daughter has competed in the same uh, circuit, mm -hmm. and, and they give young women an opportunity to develop their public speaking skills, their debate skills, uh, just even their charitable platform for their future. So mm -hmm. those things are all good things. We don't want to take anything away from them that. But it is really important, I think, that um, we start to take a look at the way that women are being portrayed in our culture and mm -hmm. that we continue to have this conversation um, that it's just not okay to talk about mm -hmm. women that way. I think this has been going on for a long time. I think nobody actually likes this. You could even tell in the email that we did see mm -hmm. that perhaps Mr. Haskell wasn't even completely comfortable. Yeah, no, I think with, that that's fair. It, you know? I, I, and I yeah. know him. And I, if you read those email exchanges, he's sort of trying to laugh it off, the bad behavior of yeah. another person. But, but we can't. Men and women together, you, you can't, can't tolerate it. You can't laugh it off. You can't say, ha, ha, ha. It's not okay. Yeah. 
No, and, and for a moment, people might say, oh, well, you know, this was this is adult women, and they're just talking, and this is Guys Talk Back channel on an email. But, you know, we, we have really young girls competing in these pageants yeah. as well. And, and the bottom line is that this sort of language is not okay. But I think that we also have to be very careful about this sort of purging that is taking place in corporations across the country. And we have to recognize that some people who are doing some of this exposing and some of this purging may not have the high of motives either, and that if we had a hold of their emails, we might find some things that were pretty offensive there too. So I think we need to be careful about casting stones while we yeah, are. Uh, no, I while, hear you, and that's the whole you know Salem witch trial thing, and we don't, we don't want to yes. go down that path. But I, right. I think it's important. You know, you have daughters, I have daughters. We as women, uh, you know, things need to change, and they're starting to, and that's good news. I think that uh, there may be more changes coming at Miss America. Gina Aladdin, thank you so much. We'll be right back.